So Samsung recently launched the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Z Flip 4. But we are here to talk about the next big thing from Samsung, the S23 Ultra. We have heard so many things about the S23 Ultra. You can check out my recent video on that. I will link down below. That's a crazy thing. But here we are talking about something else. Now, back in 2018, Qualcomm was the first company to introduce an, an under-display ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, the 3D Sonic sensor. And this is the same technology that was first introduced, and that is the same technology you can find inside the Galaxy S10, where Samsung for the first time used the technology. Now, that was okay, fine, but not the greatest one. But slowly, we have seen quite a bit of improvements in this fingerprint scanner technology. But Qualcomm has already launched an ultrasonic finger that is 3D Sonic Max which promises to accurately scan a finger in 3D. And unlike the normal scanners, which can only scan only one fingerprint, this one can do two at the same time. And for that reason alone, it is actually 17 times larger than the previous generation. So it's gonna take up a lot of space. And all of these things make it world's the largest fingerprint sensor and the first one to enable two finger authentication. And on top of that, this will be actually much more secure than the current generation ones, as well as faster and easier to use. So yeah, it is gonna be crazy good of an improvement. Now, aside from that, the S22 Ultra will also get quite a bit of features, but also not so much of things in the design department. Well, what I'm talking about is that Samsung will keep the same design as the S22 Ultra. Maybe the rear design of the camera bump might be different, might not be because at the back it will have a 200 megapixel massive mammoth of a sensor. So to place the sensor properly, they will have to modify the rear design a little bit, but overall the dimension is actually not gonna change at all, almost. And not just that, even the screen size, 6.8 inch 1440p display, 1 to 120Hz adaptive high refresh rate LTPO 200 display, that's also gonna stay. And also, it will still going to have a 5000 mAh battery, which is not so small, but still, Samsung isn't improving in that department. That's actually disappointing. Anyway, you can check out my recent video on the S23 Ultra where I have described so many more things. So yeah, that's probably it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So before the outro, here is a gate series to wallpaper pack. This wallpaper pack contains total of 14 8K wallpapers custom made for your desktop, tablets, laptops and your modern smartphones. You can visit the link in the description below to get a discounted price or you can simply visit my website joindavid.com slash wallpapers to get more discounts. And not just that, you're also going to find a lot more tech news and stuff much faster than these videos on the website. So definitely visit my website. Until the next one, bye and take care.